All right, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to another day. It is mail day. It's been a while since I've done mail day. Uh, but welcome back. We are here. If you guys are curious or girls are curious about how to send mail, uh, my P.O. Box information is in the description below. All you have to do is copy and paste it. Uh, and thank you to everyone who sent packages. I think the next mail day video I'll probably do is going to be like around June 1st. Uh, so we're probably going to skip May. Uh, I got a lot of things coming up here now in the next couple weeks. So we're going to get really into the swing of things and I probably will fall behind. So with that said, let's get into it. If you guys included a gift with the letter, I'll read off your, uh, your letter on camera. We have a letter here from Mike in Wisconsin. So we have salsa out there being crazy. James and Portia S. out of North Carolina. We have one from Alvara Kane out of Maryland. We have one from Nicole C. out of Sweetwater, Tennessee. We had a couple here from Robert uh, from Daleville, Alabama. And Robert also included a, another letter with a gift that he didn't want on camera, so I greatly appreciate that. And uh, thank you for all the wonderful letters here. Um, Robert actually collects local memorabilia around here, and he had some great information on local racing around here. So that was really cool. We have a letter here, maybe a letter here. Oh, this is a special gift from Jackie. Oh, it's like a little customized... Uh, <laughs> there you go. It's a customized dollar bill sent from Jackie. That is a picture of me on a dollar bill. And that's salsa in the background playing with a toy. So very, very cool. Thanks, Jackie, for that. That's cool. That's uh, I know I think you got a couple of them for Salsa Dog and now one of me. Very, very cool. I still have those in collection stored away. I'm not spending this. I'm pretty sure you could probably spend this. I am not spending this. Uh, very cool. Got myself my own dollar bill. Never would have thought I'd ever be on a, a dollar bill or any sort of currency. Thank you for that. Salsa is going crazy. All right. And then moving on, we have one from Stacy S. This is from Greece. Stacy has sent me a bunch of things in the past, uh, but Stacy included a lovely letter, it looks like, as well as Oh, it's in Greek. Oh, that's interesting. Mr. Stax, here's some Euro money to get a Krispy Kreme donut. Have a wonderful day today. Thanks for considering us as your company, your superintendent and worthy. Hugs and kisses to our magnificent and marvelous dog, Salsa. Love, Stacy. A happy Valentine's Day. So this is from Valentine's Day from Stacy. This is awesome. 10 Euro. I absolutely love, uh, love this kind of money. It just, it looks so cool and so different than American money. So colorful. I like the uh, the chrome metallic strip on the side. Very, very cool. I am probably not gonna spend this. I'll probably just end up keeping this. Uh, I don't even know if you can really spend Euro here. I know you can obviously uh, exchange it. There's the marvelous salsa as well. Um, but thank you for that. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful gift. Probably hold on to it for a little bit, and then maybe I will exchange it for some Krispy Kreme donuts. But thank you, Stacy. All right, this one is from s and Miller out of North Carolina. They uh, included a great letter here, uh, as well as a kind of a joke, $1 million with Tiger Woods on it. It's kind of cool there. Thank you for that. I greatly appreciate that little gift there. Uh, to you too. Uh, I know you guys have sent stuff in the past, so thank you for that. Out of Hickory, North Carolina, I don't think I could probably spend that. I don't think I could probably spend that, but a million dollars is nice. Uh, and lastly, we have a small letter here with a small package or a small gift. This one's from Tyler from Indiana. <laughs> you say, can't read cursive e either, but he included a lovely sticker. Uh, he saw that my trash can literally just is spray painted on one of these triangle recycling things. So he sent this. So I'm going to go ahead and slap this recycling sticker on there. That way um, it doesn't look as rigged together, I guess. But <laughs> thanks, Tyler. Thanks for that. That's kind of cool. Uh, this will definitely be going to good use. And I'll probably throw it on my trash can uh, probably today. So thanks, that. Thanks for that, Tyler. Greatly appreciate that. All right, getting into the packages here. This one I actually received this morning, but I guess it's just on top, so we'll open this one first. This one I believe is from Woodward, 
and I don't know the other word. Uh, is Iowa possibly? The uh, the writing got all screwed up on here, but cool package here. I think you did send something. This handwriting looks kind of familiar. I don't know if you did send something in the past or not. That's just the box. Uh, do we have a letter? I don't see a letter. Oh, open me taco stacks. I see it. It's one of those dental sticks for a dog, it looks like. Dental stick for a dog. Alrighty, that's... Oh, sauce is over here sniffing away. Hopefully there wasn't like a letter in here. No. So that's that. We have also a picture of a frame. An Ace album. It's a record. Looks like a record with uh, soccer players on it. Never seen this one before. A little paper ephemera. We have a wet dry wipes. Not sure what that is. And then some more paper ephemera. Oh, Homecoming, 1959. And then the Boilermaker, a little uh, official program, football program for Purdue University. That's cool. Love the graphics on the back of like the advertisement that they had in the 80s. And then also, yes, this looks like also a program. 1959, National Olympic Week for the Olympic Winter Games on the back, it says. For 19, uh, must have been around the same time. That's crazy. It's crazy how like this stuff has just made it through all these years. Very, very cool. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, thanks for the wonderful gifts. The paper ephemera was really, really cool as well. Greatly appreciate it. Love seeing your packages in the mail. I think it said crisp, but I'm not, not too certain. The, the whole packaging got all like uh, water damaged right there. But thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Thank you for the print. And then the uh, dog bone for, I guess, salsa. Thanks. All right. I don't know if the camera is too light or too bright or what's going on, but we have the sun coming in and out constantly, so I don't know what's going to happen with the phone. See, I just can't go light. To... Uh, but yeah, let's keep going bright to dark. Not sure. Uh, here we have a package, which I think, well, the opening letter says to taco from Jackie. And, uh, Jackie included a bunch of packages, as you guys see. Thank you, Jackie, once again. Always a pleasure seeing your lovely name in Mail Day. So we will go through them quite shortly. But this one looks like it's probably from, uh, probably from Etsy. Ooh. Now, I did see these pop up from time to time, and I've always wanted to buy one. Um, but for someone like myself, I couldn't think of the way to display it. So for people who've been with the channel for a while, know my whole uh, history. And the only reason why I know what this is, because I think it says on the back of that. And that's exactly what this is. Now to some people you might be like, what is that? That is the Rotunda from Longwood College in Farmville, Virginia. So it's my alma mater, which we don't have that much uh, memorabilia or things from Longwood University. It was just a very, it's not really a small school, but being a small division one school, you don't really have that following that you'd have at a very large school. And given that it's not a very, I wouldn't say prestigious academic school, you also don't have a following because of academics. It's kind of just your run of the mill State University that is kind of underappreciated, I would say, but uh, because of that, we don't have that much memorabilia out there. This is an awesome, awesome plate. Wow. The amount of times I went through those doors also is just insane. So I believe this building actually caught on fire. It did catch on fire, uh, and I don't remember if it got burnt down or what, but they ended up rebuilding it, making it exactly the same. Um, so I guess I didn't go through those same exact doors, but very, very cool plate. I've seen them pop up from time to time. I now need to find a place to display this. I will have to think about that. But I'm going to hold on to this for a very, very long time. Thank you, Jackie, for this. This is awesome. It's the, uh, the Wedgwood plate 
with the great rotunda building. I believe they called this Ruffner. I don't know, I graduated college a while back. I think it was Ruffner. I don't know what building it was, but the rotunda is kind of like the, uh, the known thing from the university. So very, very cool. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Jackie, for that. This is great. Always brings me back to the good old days. Oh, man. Also, in that little, like, dome building right at the top, really, really gorgeous painting up there on the roof. Uh, obviously, if it caught on fire, it's not the original one, but they redid it, and it's really, really nice. Almost like you'd see in uh, Rome or Italy. Never been to Italy, but you know I'm going with that. So thank you, Jackie. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the awesome Longwood University plate. Absolutely love it. I will not be, uh, will not be eating off that plate either. Here we have a package from Philip M. in Germany. So we got an international package here. We have international uh, letter. And we have a package. Oh. Oh. Man, that was in German. Uh, we'd be in trouble here. Hello, Taco Stacks and Salsa. This is my old license plate for my old car, so now I have a new car. I really don't think you have a license plate from Germany, so please find a good spot on your wall to hang this one. The first word is bud. It sounds like boot. From Detroit, Michigan. Wow. So I guess you can, uh, you get customized vanity plates out there as well. Salsa says hello. She's currently snipping packages on the side. Very, very cool. I'm not sure if I have a German plate. Um, I'd have to look on the wall. I'd have to look at my pile. But uh, thank you this from Cadillac Man, Detroit, Michigan. Now I guess you live in Germany. Awesome packaging as well. Greatly appreciate that. Hopefully all is well in Germany. Thank you for not writing in German. I don't know if you speak German, but if you would have wrote that in German, I would have no clue what you were saying. So thanks for that. Greatly appreciate the wonderful license plate. Hopefully all is well, and hopefully you enjoy your new car. Thanks, man. All right, so here we have a package from Mary S. in Georgia. Uh, I believe Mary did send one more package or maybe two other packages. I can tell. Oh. Salsa is giving a lot of sniffs, which usually means one of two things. Either you include something that smells really, really good, or you include something that is soft good, such as clothes. And uh, that's what it appears. We got hats on hats on hats. So thank you, Mary, for that. Uh, I know you've definitely blessed me with some great things. We have a wonderful monetary gift here for $20. Thank you, Mary S. Good day, Taco. Hope these goodies make it a better one. Still enjoying your videos? Then closed cash can go to your next locker or whatever. Mary S. So thank you, Mary. Thank you for the money, the gift as well. Greatly appreciate that. I try to tell everyone is you don't have to send money. The gifts are well enough. Uh, but thank you for the wonderful gift. Lockers, lockers, lockers. Hopefully I can grab one here shortly. We do have quite the abundance of items here. So uh, what do we got here? We have a t-shirt. <laughs> t-shirt with a penguin on it. That's great. That's a classic. Oh, a little uh, NASCAR kind of shirt, racing shirt. We have, ooh, got ourselves a football jersey. Who's that? Marshall Falk. Stitched on field jersey, high quality. Got ourselves a football jersey now. Now, look at it, now it's on me. All right, so we got bunches and bunches of hats. Salsa's now sniffing me. All those cowboy cheerleaders, cards, playing cards. That's interesting. Never seen one of those before. This one Salsa have at it over here. Uh, we have a bunch of hats. This guy's awesome. Oh, it's Olympics guy. 1996 Olympics. A little plush guy. <laughs> That's great. Never seen one of those either. Oh, a lot first day. We have uh, Cabela's. Cambridge University, that's a cool hat. It's a Patagonia, like, I guess you'd use that for fishing. You'd want to wear a hat, but you want to have lots of ventilation. I've never seen that. A lot of firsts here, a lot of firsts. We have LSU, Sperry, Purdue as well. Oh, Purdue is brand new of tags. Got some awesome hats here. Thank you, Mary S., for all these wonderful gifts. We have the Esso Club. A little Oakland Raiders, Yankees as well. We are all geared up right now. Cat Racing, Corona. This is uh, Auburn. 
Big green egg. Oh, <laughs> I should send that to my friend. My friend's all about cooking. All about cooking. GMC trucks and Wilson Sporting Goods. Performance since 1914. Is this like, it is Wilson Wilson. Very, very cool. Mary, yes, thank you so much for all the wonderful gifts as always. I know you enjoy thrifting and gave me these things, so I greatly appreciate them. Uh, very, very cool, thanks. Salsa is scaring yourself now, smelling all the goodies. But thank you, Mary, greatly appreciate it. Thank you also for the wonderful uh, $20 gifts. Uh, awesome, and now I'm currently football guy. Thank you, appreciate it. Into the next package, this one's also from Mary. All right, this one's from Mary. Also, we have this awesome Vintage Giants keychain. Hello, Taco and Salsa. You know the drill. Do what you want this stuff. Don't let Salsa have the ball. It could catch in her throat. Just let her inspect the rest of it. Absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm about to start collecting plushes of everything from the 90s, it seems like. Uh, got a great collection started already with just the two that you've sent me. Uh, very, very cool next quick kind of a racing plush. Oh, it's like a handball. You know, I might give this to Jay. Jay loves playing handball, so I'll just put that in there. All right. I think this is Miguel Cabrera. It is Cabrera. A little like a jersey t-shirt. Oh, wow. Vacuum sealed. That's great. I see something there because I, I think I've said this a while back. I have one friend that went there. Not here. We have a vintage Auburn sweatshirt. Made in USA, Ruffle Athletic, Russell Athletic, Auburn sweatshirt. Cambridge University. Here we go. Belmont University. That's the school that my friend went to. It's awesome. She's really obsessed with chewing on cardboard now. Very cool. Well, this is different. I haven't seen one of these. Starter football jersey, just starter brand. Oh, these. I used to be obsessed with these. These Hard Rock Cafe. They used to make a bunch of really, really cool colors with these. They made a teal one, a white one, a black one. Hard Rock. Buenos Aires. A little international Hard Rock t-shirt. Vintage as well. <laughs> Liquid blue. The newer liquid blue. The funny thing is, I don't think I've really seen any new liquid blue kind of stuff. So this is a t-shirt brand. But uh, got the Yankees front and back. As well as uh, the Cardinals. Might be a local team in the blue jersey. Front and back. So thank you, Mary. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts. It's awesome to always see your name here. Uh, really appreciate all the wonderful hats, shirts, and of course the plushies. Thank you for that, I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Georgia. And thank you again for the wonderful gifts. Uh, Salsa is now going to go ahead and probably sniff it all. And uh, thanks, appreciate it. Great, great, to, uh, great to see your name, thanks. All right, this one is from Salsa Stacks. Salsa, thank you for this. This one's from Salsa. Looks very common to other packaging I've seen from Salsa. <laughs> Salsa, watch out. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. She has chewed on the, the tissue paper. I, I don't think Salsa can do tissue paper. Oh, that's a great gift. That's a great gift. Watch out, Salsa. Thank you for the wonderful gift, Salsa. Oh, this box looks kind of familiar also. <laughs> Thank you, Salsa. So, where was that letter? Here's the letter. Don't want to lose the letter. Oh, this is a nice card here. I love these cards. These are really nice. To Dad, Love Salsa. It's the Easter Bunny. Very, very cool. I know you sent this really awesome Jeep one. I showed like everyone that. It was amazing. All right, let's open up this. I don't know where I'm going to be able to put this. I don't think I saw another letter. 
This is a awesome pillow. Happiness is when I'm with you. <laughs> got salsa on the side, you got me in the middle, and of course salsa being very, very happy on the other side. Thank you for that awesome pillow. That's great. I love the quote on it also. Gorgeous pillow. I gotta find a place for that. Probably trying to think if I should put it on my couch or on a chair. I'll probably put it on a chair because that will probably be filled with dog here in a matter of half a minute. Ah, uh, there we go. Post-its with uh, sauce on the side. Very, very cool. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you for those. We have, oh, it's uh, for pot holders. Great. That's great because I actually, I need pot holders. So now I have pot holders. Pot holders with uh, sauce on it. <laughs> uh, that's a great photo too. <laughs> uh, great. All right, now we have this one here, which I think I need some, there we go. <laughs> it's like a huge bowl. For your cereal, oh great. Uh, that's a great cereal bowl. It's got salsa all around it as well. <laughs> home is where the home is where the paw is, and it's a salsa girl on the bottom. Oh, buddy, that's a great bowl for cereal. Awesome bowl for cereal. Absolutely love it. Thank you, as always, for all the wonderful gifts. You've definitely blessed me with a lot of beautiful gifts here. I know there's a couple packages back there, but uh, greatly appreciate that. Thank you for all those. Those are wonderful. Everything there I can definitely use and greatly appreciate. As always, very, very cool. Awesome. Thanks again. All right, we had this really interesting package here. And when I received it, I was like, what could this possibly be? And there's a couple things that came to my mind. And just by giving a little peek, I think I got it right. But it was one of like eight things that I was guessing. Uh, this one is from Jason W. out of Arizona. Surprisingly, somehow he managed to uh, send in his first class, which is crazy to me, but I guess it works out. All right, that's what I thought it was. I didn't see the name on it, though. I don't see a letter in there. But from Jason W. out of Arizona, thank you for this. I'm going to flip it over because I still don't know. Oh, it's the penguins. Ooh. Very cool. <laughs> Pittsburgh Penguins. So yes, Pittsburgh, not too far from here. And by not too far, I mean all the way across the other side of the state, AKA five hours. But yes, the Penguins, as always, with the cool 90s logo over here. I really wish they would go back to that logo as I think it's a lot better than the one they use now. Uh, but very, very cool. Jason W., thank you for the awesome Pittsburgh Penguins pennant. I did not see a letter in there. This brought back a lot of nostalgia from my favorite hockey years. Thank you for this. Greatly appreciate Jason W. Hopefully all is well in Arizona. I don't know if you're a Penguins fan or you just know that I like Penguins, but greatly appreciate it. Thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Very, very cool. Always love the 90s hockey stuff. Here we had one from, I believe this says John in Florida. It's a 1996 Olympics pin, but it's nicely tacked away there. Taco Stacks and Salsa, we enjoy your channel, like the different places you go, and the venues, be they are trash picking auctions or estate cleanouts, and close as a 1996 Atlanta Olympics baseball pin. I've seen you obtain several items from them. Please add to your collection or find a good home for it. Regards, Lucia Johns. Uh, thank you, you two. I uh, greatly appreciate it. 1996 Olympics. So, yes, I do collect a lot of Olympic stuff. I probably have about a bin's worth, a tote or a bin uh, of Olympic stuff. For some reason, I am a huge fan of the Olympics gear. Maybe it's just because it's like the 90s that's like really, really nostalgia. But just the colorways and the colors are just amazing. But here we have a 1996 baseball pin back when, I guess, professionals used to play in the Olympics. Very, very cool. Thank you for the awesome 1996 Olympics pin. It will be going added or it will be added to the collection. It will not be sold. Uh, thank you. Hopefully all is well in Florida and greatly appreciate the pin. 
Thanks again. All right, this one has a penguin on there. Oh, didn't read off the name of it. I apologize. This one is from Betty Garrett out of Ohio. Thank you, Betty. I'm trying to open it. I guess maybe I can just slide this out. I didn't see a letter. At least it's not on top unless it's somewhere else. It's always a game, guessing if there's a letter. Well, thank you, Betty. Betty G. Pretty awesome. Oh, this is like strong, heavy-duty stuff. It's not cheapo cardboard. Penguin Crossing. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll throw this in my barn. I think I have, I have a couple signs up there in my barn right now. Uh, or maybe I'll throw this in the warehouse. Very, very cool Penguin Crossing sign. Heavy-duty as well. No flimsy thing here. Solid. Solid, great penguin sign. Greatly appreciate that, Betty. Uh, absolutely love that. And then we have a small little penguin keychain. <laughs> very, very cool. So thank you, Betty. Hopefully all is well in Ohio. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful support. Thank you for the wonderful penguins gear as well. Uh, that sign is awesome. And thank you for the awesome keychain. Hopefully all is well. Greatly appreciate. Thanks again, Betty. All righty. So we have two more packages here, one package up here, and I think that one's from Jackie to conclude this. Surprisingly, there's a lot of stuff, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff around here. Uh, this one is from, well, it's a company, so maybe it's not from someone. It's a license plate. No letter. However, I have an idea of who this might be from. This one is an awesome, awesome, wow. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there might be a duplicate on my wall for the same exact state, which would be very, very ironic. And the only reason why I say it's a duplicate is because I think the other one was really dirty, and I thought it was the same, but it wasn't. Or I thought it was different, but it wasn't. A Longwood College license plate. Crazy. Because <laughs> I've only seen like two of these in person ever. And I even went to that university, which it went from Longwood College to Longwood University. I even went there and I only saw two of them ever. Wow. So that is really cool. I don't think, uh, I think I'll try to find a place either on the wall or right where I walk in somewhere for this awesome Longwood University, Longwood College license plate. This brought me back too because I, I just remember being in school and it being an option if you like lived in Virginia to get this at the uh, DMV. But I like walking around campus, I don't remember seeing that many people with it. Like I said, only probably two or so. So kind of crazy. That's crazy. That brought back some memories. That brought back some memories of like walking back from class and there was always like, if anyone went to like school or go to community college or maybe even high school or whatever, like you guys all remember like walking back from somewhere and everyone kind of had like assigned spots and you always saw that one car. So there was always this one car with this plate on it. And I always thought it was so cool. But anyway, thank you to whomever sent this. There was no letter, um, but I greatly appreciate it. Thanks again. All right, also to go along with the license plate themes, this one feels like license plates. This one's from Sue B out of South Padre Island, Texas. That just sounds nice and warm. Which speaking of nice and warm right now, it's so cold up here. We had a really cold day. It snowed, it hailed last night. Oh, it was bananas. Woke up this morning, there was snow on the car. Oh, brutal. After it was like 65 degrees two days ago. I keep on doing this where I don't look for the letter. I just look at the stuff. This one's to Taco. This card here, ooh. <laughs> Happy Easter. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry for getting to these things too late. Ooh, a little Subway gift card here. Enjoy sandwich on me. P.S. I know your wallet is about done, but I'm sure you'll find use for these plates. Taco, hope it's a lot of fun. Thanks for all the great videos. You're saving our planet. Salsa is a real sweetheart. Happy Easter, Sue. Thank you, Sue, for the wonderful Subway gift card. 
And yes, the license plate wall is done. I don't have this plate. I know that off the top of my head. Um, but I'm still trying to figure it out on next, a next project for license plates. We have a Texas uh, truck plate there. I always thought this was a really, really cool plate. Like this is one of the first ones I received. For some reason, I thought these with the spaceship on it and the stars and the cowboy, I just thought it was awesome. Um, I ended up receiving quite a few of those, but I still think it's one of my top five favorite plates. This one I know I definitely don't have. Uh, Nevada blue 1981 plate. And then this one, which I might also not have, um, just the Texas with the flag. Amazing in the size or the, the quality between this plate and the newest plate of Texas. This thing weighs a lot, which probably means that it's fairly old because it's of higher quality. Uh, it's probably also steel, not aluminum. But Sue, thank you for the wonderful license plates. I will find something to go along with them, and I greatly appreciate all the support. And thank you as well for the Subway gift card. Truly means a lot. I'm going to get a sandwich on you, just like you said, probably today. Um, yeah, probably today. So thanks, Sue. Thanks for that. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Texas. Hopefully you're staying warm, not too warm. And thanks again. Greatly appreciate it. All right. Is the lighting perfect now? It might be. I don't know what's going on. Um, wow. All right. Well, we're down to our last two packages. Thank you to everyone who sent, pa uh, sent packages or mail. Uh, these last two are from Jackie. This one is addressed to Salsa and Taco Stacks. We have to actually just take a break there and go outside. So, Salsa might have a treat here again, even though <laughs> she's got a lot of sniffing to do. This one's from Jackie P. out of Florida. Addressed to Salsa and Taco. Tape is stronger than me. There we go. Taco and Salsa need guac and tequila. Woo! I'm getting a headache just thinking about it. <laughs> I don't see any letters in here from Jackie. Well, we got holy moly toys on toys. This one is Zippy Paws. Salsa will get you a toy here. And I literally gave her a toy right before this because I knew she'd be all crazy. Um, tequila. My head ache. My head ache. My head aches. Just thinking about that. Uh, this one is... <laughs> That is great, great, that is great. It's guacamole, I believe that's just an avocado. Doesn't even say, I believe that's just an avocado. Avocado, we got tequila. Ooh, a pet bandana. A little bandana for salsa. Scared to just move aside, just because I know she's up to something. Uh, here's another pet bandana. Ooh, it's got a picture of me on it. Salsa now has her summer outfit, and of course, her favorite toy. There are so many here. You don't have to send as many, Jackie. This is, wow. There's a lot here. So we got Salsa's favorite toy is a small taco. Go ahead, because her name is Salsa, and I'm Taco Stacks. There is, wow. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Salsa's going to be very, very happy. We have Gumby. <laughs> is that Gumby? Uh, it is. I was about to say, is this really a Gumby uh, dog toy? It is. Wow. That brought me back. Oh, Taco. I forgot this in your box. I guess that must have came after. Uh, why is it like that? All right. So thank you, Jackie, for that. Thank you for all the wonderful toys for Salsa. Salsa is going to be ecstatic here. As you see, Salsa is very ecstatic. Uh, so thank you for the wonderful gift box for Salsa. Thank you for all these toys. I won't need a toy for quite some time. Uh, and this is the other box that says that I forgot to put. So I guess I opened this up and I opened them up backwards. So I apologize for that. This one is also from Jackie. Oh my goodness. Jackie? You don't have to do it, Jackie. Thank you for that. Start with the letter. If donuts could talk, move over. This is a great... <laughs> Sorry, reading off the whole letter. Yeah, I think outside the box. Hope your day is filled with good things. Peace, Jackie. 
Thank you for the awesome letter. It's a great letter. You've always gave me really, really awesome letters. Very unique, personable. <laughs> Hello, sir, taco and salsa girl. Oh boy, hope I'm not going to get that mean dad look again. Huh? I send you things to make you smile and things I can think you can use. Nothing needs to be kept included. Included is both. I'm kind of nervous about the one inside. Small box, do that one last. Salsa's going nuts, there's so much. I know salsa, we're excited. Do that one last, there's been free. Oh, hold on. Nothing needs to be kept included is both. I'm kind of nervous about the one inside small box. Do that one last, there's bins for you to use maybe in between your van seats. Also include some Velcro to keep in position. Again, no need to keep anything. Oh geez, I hope you find I am in smaller box funny. Interested, peaked yet. I am very interested to see what that is. Well, before we jump into that, I'm gonna go ahead. Still wondering what's inside this box. <laughs> All right, got this in the other box. Oh, oh. What could this be? Oh, that is cool. It's another one of those gators. So I do wear the other two you've sent me. Very cool. I love the uh, kind of like, I don't know what you even call that, gradient style. Very, very cool. Thank you for that, Jackie. Then we have some New York Rangers one. Oh, it is. Ooh, looks warm. It's kind of like more like a fleece style. That's really cool. It's got a little zip on the back also. Uh, surprisingly, like these things keep you so warm. So like on a day like today, wearing one of these, you don't mind wearing a mask or face covering, whatever it is at all, because it keeps you warm. Also, if you want to be kind of private, just wear one. I don't know. Uh, but thank you for that. Greatly appreciate those. Uh, I really do like the colors on the Rangers one. And then obviously the, the Jeep one to go along with the other Jeep. Other Jeep one you've sent me. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> so I... Jackie. Careful, money is attached with tape. Yes, it is a bank. No, you do not have to keep it. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. <laughs> it's going to be a game to try. Jackie, you do not have to send me money. Thank you for the wonderful $100 gift again. <laughs> You don't have to send me money, Jackie, but thank you so much. You truly do mean a, a lot to me by sending me all these wonderful gifts. Um, and you've constantly definitely blessed me uh, monetarily a couple times here, well over a couple times. But thank you again for the wonderful $100 gift. Thank you. Salsa and I will greatly appreciate that. Um, and thank you for <laughs> the very interesting money bank in a camera i guess you would say must go along with the youtube thing i guess imagine we had to carry around one of these and do like daily vlogs and one of this man life would be tough it would be tough to do garbage picking if i had to carry around one of those but thank you for the wonderful bank and the hundred dollars thanks again jackie i'm worried if that's the box is this the box Well, I, am, I, don't even want, I don't know if I should, I'm scared to open it. Add this. <laughs> I probably should be doing this in like a certain order also. I had this in my van the other day. My battery actually went out on my other uh, camera, not my camera, my uh, flashlight. This is a flashlight. Thank you for another one. It said that you had a lot of these. Here's another. Uh, and I saw it there and I was like, that's a flashlight, right? And I was like, oh yeah, Jackie sent me one of those. So kind of funny to see another one. I'm so, I don't know which box, which box is this small box? There's so many boxes in here. 
I'm nervous. All right, we're going to go with the wrist one. This one says careful. Oh boy, hold I am from bottom when I'm wrapping. This says bottom over here, so I would assume probably bottom would be on the bottom bottom, but I assume it's actually, this is the bottom, because that would be the bottom when you hold it up. I'm nervous for whatever this is. That's bottom, all right. <laughs> oh, no way. What? It's a custom bobblehead of me. <laughs> That's me. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. <laughs> I love it, Jackie. And today is Earth Day, I believe. Which, at least, well, I guess yesterday was Earth Day. That's me. It even says Taco Stacks on it. Oh, it doesn't focus. <laughs> I gotta put this on a safe place up here. Alright. That one's really cool. That's going on my, uh, that's going on my desk. I have a little window cell behind my desk. If I ever got my act together and built an office, it'd be really cool, but uh, that's going behind my desk, or be on my window sill, right where my desk is. That's awesome. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you for that. That is really cool. Very unique and very cool. No more squirrels, fingers crossed, safe for human and pets. Pest repeller. Man, I hope these things work. We will see. Thank you for this. I'm going to try this out. I don't know if these actually make noises or they're just like uh, they go through the wall, but I'm going to plug this in today because this morning I was laying in bed at 530 and I can just hear the squirrel running back and forth. So these are ultrasonic pest repellers, a four pack. Thank you, Jackie, for that. Hopefully this works. I'll also throw one in the warehouse as well because I do, I do have electric up there. Thank you for the pest repellers. This might be, oh, so I was gonna say, is this a piece of cake? It'd be really hard to ship that without that being all messed up. Smells really good. Rabbit tree soaps. Oh. It's a golden retriever on the back. The plastic, you can't really see it. But it's a golden retriever. I don't like, I don't wanna use it. It's also a Jew. It's you. She's like, is that a snack? It's not a snack. You can't eat this salsa. So thank you for the awesome soap. Oh, we have a small soap here. Oh, little paw prints. Got a little paw prints also. Very cool. Got another thing of soap. Go ahead, smell good again. Go ahead, smell good again. It's shaped like something, <laughs> and I think it is something. It is. The taco soap. Is this an Oreo? Looks like an Oreo. It is an Oreo. It's like an Oreo-shaped uh, soap. And we have a taco soap. There we go. Got to kind of throw it down because the uh, the plastic reflects the sun. It looks just Wait, but it's actually like, wow, it smells. It's amazing how smells can bring you back. Like that's bringing me back to like a time when I used to play this game on a computer when I was like maybe five. I don't know why it brings that back. It's even called taco soap. <laughs> so thank you for that, Jackie. I'm scared. Is this the small box? This is a small box, but it's a flashlight. Ooh, is this the, uh, oh, it's a UV flashlight. So I had one before. I don't know where that other one was. Once I got that new desk, all of a sudden it went missing. It's gotta be somewhere, but now I have a brand new one. So thank you for the wonderful UV flashlight. We have a whole folder here. 
a Velcro. You'll probably use something with that. And then lastly, it's a great idea on this, so I think that's what we're gonna try and see if it works. It says, maybe between the van seats. Oh, you can attach them. I was like, why? Feels like there's more in here. So it looks like there's probably two in here. This looks like it probably just folds out pretty easily. Maybe. Ooh, that's really nice. It's also not for you. Oh yeah, this, this should work. So in between my van, or my seats in my van, I just have like an open area and it's just cluttered with stuff. Things fall over. Um, but this should be good. This, this should fit. Awesome. Greatly appreciate that, Jackie. I'll see, probably I'll even just use one for my Jeep and one for my van. It's awesome. But thank you, Jackie, for the wonderful organizer. But most importantly, thank you, Jackie, for all the wonderful gifts uh, between the salsa stuff, my stuff, as well as the lovely $100 bill gift. You definitely donated quite a few to me. Uh, I greatly appreciate all the support. And thanks again for all the wonderful, thoughtful ideas and thoughtful gifts you sent me. I greatly appreciate that. It means a lot. And... Uh, yeah, hopefully all is well in Florida. Thanks again. It's always great to see your name. It's always great to see your comments as well. And I hope everything is going well with you. Thanks again for all the wonderful gifts. Uh, it truly means a lot. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Thanks. All right, so mail day has been concluded. So also you look like you're stuck in between there. Come over here. Oh, wow, she really chewed on this. Come here. Oh, she, oh, she, she's stuck. <laughs> she found her way. There you go. See you later. Oh. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up here for today's video. Thank you to everyone who sent wonderful gifts uh, and letters. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you for all the support over the past couple of years. If anyone out there wants to send any sort of mail, I'll probably do my next mail day, most likely in June. Um, so we're gonna probably skip May, but uh, my PO Box information is in the description below. Thanks again to everyone who sent wonderful gifts. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. We'll see what we get into. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and catch up with you guys next time. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.